Hi, I'm Julie. Welcome to Chicory's Travels. I've had a lot of people ask me for pictures of the inside of the RV or a video to show how we live in this small space. And I've been kind of reluctant. I think mainly because I feel kind of insecure because online I see so many great pictures of remodels or decorations of RVs and mine is pretty much stock the way it came. We live in a 2015 Heartland Cyclone 4200 fifth wheel. So starting when you first enter into the RV, you'll see that we have a big screen television and beneath that is an electric fireplace that actually puts off a decent amount of heat in the winter time. We also have storage cabinets where we like to keep our books. Uh, there's a couple more storage cabinets right above each corner of the sofa. And then it's a real long sofa. And the two end seats as well as the middle seat make into recliners as well. Now moving into the kitchen, this is our dining room table. And we actually have two bar stools to allow us to eat up here when we want to. We have a double sink. And even though this is a small kitchen, it still has all of the things that I had in my larger kitchen when we lived in a house. I have my food processor. I have my slow cooker that I use all the time. My husband has a Keurig as well as an espresso. And my beloved Vitamix all of the appliances that you need. In addition, we have a propane uh, stove top and oven, as well as an electric microwave. Now, I pretty much cook all of our meals. We barely, rarely eat out. So I use the propane cooktop and the oven every day, even in the summertime. I know I've heard a lot of people talk about heat issues, but we like cool hookups. So we have electricity. I crank up the AC a little bit, and it's really not a problem. One of the projects that we're considering doing is taking out this microwave and replacing it with a convection microwave combo. So that way this would actually be the oven, a convection oven, and we would not use this propane oven. Up here, since I have to get my stool to reach it good, is where I keep like my Tupperware type containers. In addition, we have a pantry. And if you notice on the front of the pantry, we have a ladder. This is because up above there's a bed and right now we are also using that for storage. Now you've noticed several times I've talked about storage and that's because even though we're trying to downsize and minimize our lives, I still have not been able to let go of stuff, I think, that's still an ongoing journey of mine. So we still do have quite a bit of things. We have a residential refrigerator and freezer with a water and ice dispenser, as well as another storage cabinet. So our fifth wheel is what you call a toy hauler, and that means that you have a garage to haul toys. We used to have a Harley Triglide. We've since sold that, so now the garage is our office as well as a guest room. And it actually has a little door on it. So in the garage portion, it actually has multiple uses. Right now, we don't have any guests, so we're using it as our office. Sean sits here, I sit here. We have our camera gear and more stuff that I talked about. Um, this tabletop, though, does actually come out, and we can fold down the seats and make a bed, which is about a queen size. In addition, up top at the ceiling there's another bed that drops down so it actually makes bunk beds but very large bunk beds and the back wall here actually drops down to be a ramp to bring toys up into it or um, a deck and then finally um, because like i said this is a guest room this actually makes the separate bedroom and it has its own full cool bathroom however remember what i said about stuff since we don't have any guests right now, we're using this full bathroom as a hall closet. If you look in here, you'll see we keep our luggage because Sean and I travel quite a bit for business still. And uh, all of those types of things you would keep in a hall closet back at your house. Making our way back through the kitchen and the living room, 
towards the main bathroom and the bedroom, you'll see this sliding glass door. It actually opens out onto a deck. The wall out there drops down to make a deck. We're not using it right now because it rains a couple times a day in Florida and we have learned that these decks are not waterproof. Going up the stairs, you'll first come to the bathroom. This is where I actually have a little bit of color just because I brought my shower curtain and mat from home. But you see we have the sink, medicine cabinet, and plenty of other cabinet and drawers. So there's plenty of storage space in the bathroom. In addition, this is actually a small tub and shower. So here in the bedroom, we also have another TV that actually turns and slides into the cabinet for when we're leaving. Um, here on the dresser, we keep our printer instead of in the back because there's less movement when we're in transit. So we actually don't even have to take this off the dresser when we're moving. Our slide comes in, the bed's right up here, and this stays nice and sturdy. In our closets here, this one is actually, it has a washer and dryer hookup. We elected not to put the washer and dryer in it right now and instead are using it for business clothes since we still travel for business as well as a few light jackets and our laundry basket. And then we divided these closets into one for Sean and one for me. And I put these other bins, they fit perfectly on top to keep extra clothing. And I said I didn't do very many decorative things because I'm not really good at that. But one thing I did do was wall art. So I picked my favorite family photographs and I had them made into vinyl stickers. And the great thing about this is, this has been up here for three years. You can see I can peel it down, nothing remaining on the wall. Or I can put it back and it goes back perfectly. So I highly recommend this if you're looking for a way to put things on the wall. Another way to hang things on the wall is to use something called command hooks. And I had a photograph done of my boys and our dogs and put it put on foam board so it's very lightweight and then I just have command hooks on the back. This is a wooden placard, same thing, command hooks. And then our key holder also, I just have a couple little command hooks on each on the back. Thanks for joining me on a tour of our home. As I mentioned before, I cook all of our meals, we hardly ever eat out. So the next video that I'm going to do on living in an RV is small kitchen cooking. So please subscribe if you'd like to get updates and follow our adventure.